www.thrivingmomsandpowerwomen.com. Welcome to a Thursday Night Stand Therapy. I'm so excited that you are joining me tonight. We are going to take a look at some of the amazing kits that Stampin' Up! has available in the kit collection. I have some samples of some, not all, to share with you. Plus, we're going to make projects from a brand new kit and make some projects inspired by the kit projects with new products. What do you think about that? I think it's gonna be a fun evening and I'm really looking forward to a little stamp therapy with you. It has been a busy, hectic week at my house. We've got a sick pup and we're moving bedrooms around, moving furniture around, including a piece of furniture that's coming into my stamp room. And I'm kind of excited about organizing. What is your favorite thing in your stamp space? that you um, are really happy with, that you've organized or um, a way that you've organized your cardstock or your ink or your cards or whatever. What What is the thing that you love the most about your stamp room or especially when it comes to organization? I would love to hear from you. So I've got this new dresser um, and I'm excited to get some things off the floor and kind of put away and not so messy is my hope. We'll see how long it lasts, right? Um, like I said, we're going to talk about kit collection today because the kits this month in August 2023 are up to 30% off. And so I made a little list. I just kind of copied and pasted from the online store. This is the best place to find the kit um the current offering of kits is going right to the online store. And you can do that at juliedavison.com slash shop. There are a few that are currently unavailable, like the confetti birthday kit, the boho beach kit. Uh, but most of them are available. Best remedy is also not currently available. If it says currently unavailable in the online store, that means it's coming back in stock and it's just temporarily unavailable. Um, so just a heads up, if you see something and you're like, oh man, I really missed it, it is coming back. If it's gone completely from the online store, then it's not coming back. And there is one, um, I don't think I have it on here because... Um, the English version is sold out completely and not coming back. It's it's one that's got like little mini cards and there's like palm tree and um, it's sort of a tropical mini card kind of um, kit. It's been around for a while, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but most of the other ones are just showing as unavailable. And so there are a lot to choose from. I mean, look at this. I should have done a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 kids. That's kind of awesome. And all of them, including the most recent ones, are on sale up to 30% off. So today I'm going to walk through and I'm going to show you um, what these kits look like in person. What I love about the kits is that it's all inclusive. Everything that you need to make these projects are included in the box, including like the glue dots. And when there's stamping involved, there is um, a block, like a little mini block and an ink spot to go with the little mini stamp set. And so it's so fabulous, whether you're looking for home decor or some treats or, oh, this is so fun, the Celebrate Today magnet board kit. One of my favorite ones is the birthday card organizer kit. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show them all to you. <laughs> so it's not just cards, although there are mostly card kits because um, sales have proven that's what you guys love. Um, and even if the card kits, there's just such a really great variety. And so I think no matter what your style is, I think you're going to find something that you love. And so I hope that you will check out the kits collection and add one or two to your next order. Um, there's my current host code. If you want to order from me, you can go to juliedavison.com slash shop. Um, and for August, I will be featuring the inked botanical suite and the bonus project kit that I have yet to design. I just mailed out the July bonus card, uh, the bonus project kit um, yesterday, and I'm working on the thank you cards now. There were a few straggler thank you cards from June, and I apologize that they were so late. I think that's just my life, and I I'm, I guess I shouldn't apologize for my life. <laughs> it's crazy. It's all crazy in here. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. That you're here. I've been a demonstrator for um, 21 years. I have four kids who are ages 13 through 19 going on 20. And so it is a busy time in our life. It is a busy time for them. They're very involved in all kinds of things. And um, we also have two dogs, like I said, one of which is six. So 
life is chaotic and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I want to start by making a card from a new kit. So this is one that I have had on my desk and I've been wanting to play with. Um, and so we're going to make this one first and then I'm going to show you samples of the other kits. And then we're going to make some projects that are um, inspired by some of the kit projects. So this one is brand new. It's called Blossom Wishes Kit. And this is actually one of the non-stamping kits. So um, you're going to see the sentiments are actually pre-done and you can choose um, the ones that you want to use. And um, the thing about making a non-stamping kit though is that the price point is really great. So it's $11.70 for this kit. And whether you're getting it to make cards for yourself or whether you're getting it to make cards as a gift or to give the kit as a gift, um, it's just a really great value. This card kit makes two different cards and you're gonna do, you're gonna get enough materials to make four of each one. I'll just make one of each tonight to show you how it works. These cards are slim line cards, meaning they're skinny. So we've got a larger one and a smaller one. And in the United States, both these take just regular postage to send in the mail. Um, I don't think that they're going to be too bulky, so I'm not worried about that. I'm going to just, we're going to start by just taking a one of each piece out to make up these projects. This is also such a fun thing. If you, um, have been vacationing this summer and you want to take stamping with you, this is such a great way um, to bring paper crafting on vacation or to bring it to share with a friend. I think that's my favorite part of kits is getting together and um, and making cards with friends. So grab a kit and go over to your friend's house, even if they don't paper craft and you can make cards together and um, and have coffee. Do people still do that? Do they get together and have coffee? <laughs> I, I don't drink coffee, so I, I don't get together for coffee necessarily, but I do remember when I was younger, um, mom always getting together with friends to have coffee. That was like a thing. They would come over and they would have coffee. I'm just taking out the pieces I need. You're going to notice as I'm going through these that there are some other languages in here. Stampin' Up! is a worldwide global company. And so um, these kits come in the languages that um, we have. So we've got some French and some German and I believe Dutch um, is the other language that we've got in here. Um, so that's kind of fun. So you'll have some extra pieces, although it's really fun if you know someone who speaks another language to be able to send them a card in that language um, without having to have the stamps or whatever to go with it. So I, I kind of like that. Um, all right, taking out, I think I'm going to need both of these. And when I first saw this kit, I thought that these were cherries, but then someone else said that they were apples. And so I, <laughs> I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me what you think. Are they cherries or apples? Because to me, they kind of looked like, you know, like on a cherry tree. This color is so beautiful. It is um, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. And do you see the foil lines on the leaves? There are foil um, accents on all the pieces in this kit. And I just think that is so fun. We also have these vellum flowers with a yellow center. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep the whole sheet out for that one. Okay, so one of the great things about the kits is, especially if you haven't done a lot of paper crafting before, we have instructions that are full color and will step you through how to put the card together. It even shows you where to apply the adhesive. So this card includes Stampin' Dimensionals and glue dots. And so I'm just gonna kind of go through and put the cards together one at a time. I'll start with this one. Um, and this, oh, I, ooh, <laughs> I thought that was white, but it is wild wheat. We're going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this. And there's a lot of Stampin' Dimensionals here. So I am just going to follow right along on the instructions and put one in each of these little spots here. And sometimes Stampin' Dimensionals can make our cards bulky. Um, and so if you feel like your card is extra bulky, you could put a non-machinable stamp on it um, to make sure that it doesn't get crushed or have any issues in the mail. Usually I find Stampin' Dimensionals by themselves aren't really much of a problem. Um, it's really more of those like embellishments that are really bulky that sometimes can be an issue. So I'm going to center this. It doesn't look like there's a difference between 
the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to go right in the center here. And then for this card, we're going to use the happy birthday in the middle. Oh, I just love that. And then we've got the, what do we think? Apples, cherries? Leave a comment and tell me, <laughs> tell me what you think. Here's why I'm thinking cherries, because it's got blossoms. Although apples have blossoms too, I suppose. Um, the other fruit is clearly pears. Um, so I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'll be looking forward to your comments and you can tell me. Um, what you think. So this one, we've got the two different stems. Which which plant has blue leaves? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I know neither. That wouldn't be one of little artistic, um, artistic license there, right? Um, okay. Um, please explain. Oh, non-machinable. Nancy says, please explain, explain the non-machinable stamp. Is it um, an extra stamp to be used with the forever stamp. So let me, I'm just going to grab a non-machinable stamp and show you really quick. Oh, I just put them away in the dresser today. Um, okay, so the non-machinable um, stamps, I just buy, I bump, I buy multiple sheets. Um, I get them in a sheet like this. And so this is, um, it includes the non-machinable surcharge. So when you use one of these non-machinable stamps, it is a forever first class one ounce letter stamp plus the non-machinable surcharge. Now, if your card is over one ounce, then you'll also need to add an additional ounce stamp. And it used to be that the additional ounce stamp was the same rate as the non-machinable surcharge. And so it used to be that you could just put an additional ounce stamp on your card with a regular first class postage stamp and it would, um, it would be the same postage as the non-machinable and the, and the forever, but now it's a little bit different. And I can't remember, I think the non-machinable surcharge is more than the additional ounce. If I remember right, the additional ounce is 24 cents. And I honestly don't remember how much the non-machinable um, surcharge is. But if you're using a non-machinable stamp with the butterfly, the Colorado hair streak, um, then it includes the first class um, one ounce postage plus the surcharge. So you only need the one stamp. Um, there may be a stamp that um, like the additional ounce stamp that you can put on with a regular one. Um, but I, again, I'm not sure what the current rate is. So these, um, these stamps, um, if you buy them, it's like the forever. So uh, if the non-machinable goes up a little bit, then you don't have to pay extra. Like, you know, you, you just, you, I love how they do the forever stamps now. I think it just makes so much sense. Okay. Um, oh, I'm getting some answers. Okay, Sherry says she thought they were peaches. Uh, I didn't even consider peaches because they do have more of, I think, a red hue. Um, and Catherine says definitely apples. Um, yes, Bonnie, I do spend a lot on stamps. <laughs> we had a guessing game in another video and I probably shocked a lot of you. Um, yes, I know for sure. Cause the, the, um, Vicky's saying over a dollar. Um, I know for sure that the, um, the forever stamp is 63 cents right now. And so, um, yeah, 37 cents. So yeah, the non-machinable, I want to say it's like a dollar three or something like that. Don't quote me on it though. Check the, check the post office. Uh, Michelle's chiming in too to say apples. Um, okay, well, you know, they can be apples. They can be cherries. They can be peaches. They can be whatever you want them to be. <laughs> um, I think they're really beautiful though. So we're going to add those on next with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we're going to do our, hmm, it looks like they're using glue dots for the branches. So let's get these on first with the Stampin' Dimensionals. One of them is going to go a little bit lower. Um, I guess they're both going low in the circles. Now, I don't know how well you can see in the video, but the cardstock card base um, is, are these, are there different die cuts? The other one looks different to me now that I've put my dimensionals on. They are kind of different. So this one has the front one being down and this one, they're just like a different angle, see? Okay, 
Let's, <laughs> I'm going to use one of each like I am supposed to. And let's just put that back in there. It doesn't matter that much. I know you're probably rolling your eyes at me, but <laughs> I'm, I'm going to still change it out so I can do it the right way. Um, I'm such a perfectionist like that. <laughs> That's why I tear things apart. Uh, okay, so this is going to go down here. Oh, that one's not down yet. So let's do our stamp dimensionals as well. And this is going to go in the middle at a little bit of an angle. And then we're going to use our glue dots. Oh, one of them came off on my fingernail. Okay, I have to tell you, I'm not a fan of these glue dots. Um, I just like the ones that are on a roll better. Um, and so that's why I don't usually use these. But since I am doing the kit project tonight, I'm going to use what comes in the kit. Now, um, I think these glue dots are either love it or hate it. So leave me a comment and let me know. Do you love or hate these little kit glue dots? Um, I kind of was peeling with my finger. There is a paper backing. And so after I transfer them, I'm going to kind of peel off that paper backing. And you see the little glue dots. Okay, so this one is going, yeah, this one's up top. Ooh, and it actually goes underneath. That's interesting. Like this. Cool. All right. And this one. <laughs> yeah, I knew you guys were going to be split on that. Some of you like them. Some of you don't. Um, I was saving a whole bunch of them to send to my friend Jill, who loves these. <laughs> um, but I have some on my table from another kit. But like, I, I, when I'm on my own, I definitely will just use whatever I have. <laughs> I'm gonna just trim this. I don't know if this was supposed to go on first. I don't know how you would put it on first, but I'm just gonna trim it so that it fits better underneath there. Beautiful. This is coming together so easily. The next thing we have to do is our little vellum flowers. And it looks like there are a lot. Um, there's a lot of flowers and there's also a lot on this card, which I think is just such a fun little embellishment. So at the top, it looks like we've got six and there are different sizes here. So we have some large ones and some small ones. And I'm going to do, for the first circle, I'm going to do two large ones and three small ones. Oh, it shows six. I will do six like I'm supposed to. <laughs> Usually we do odd numbers. That's what's on the bottom. So I'll, I'll do that um, for the bottom, this tour. There we go. Okay, punched out. Now we're going to, it, these are so delicate. I'm gonna put the glue dot on and add it. Okay, you know what? I know I said I was gonna use these kit ones, but I can't. <laughs> it's just so tedious. I'm going to get out my glue dot roll. I just love these because they're so easy. I'm going to put each flower on a glue dot and then I can just pull it up and I don't have to try to get my fingernail under these little ones. So if you're getting a kit, I just think you should add on a package of glue dots too. I just love the mini glue dots. I know <laughs> you guys are sympathizing with me. I must have had an old roll of glue dots because I've got them. They're coming on the, the roll instead of on the inside. I didn't realize what a luxury I was. <laughs> what a luxury I had. Okay, so now I can just take my fingernail or my scissors or my take your pick tool and I can just peel these off the sheet and they have the glue on it and I can add them 
add them to the project. So I feel like this just saves a step and instead of trying to move the glue dot and then trying to move um, the, the flower, like, I don't know. I just think it's easier. In the picture, these look so much more opaque, but in person, they are very transparent. Um, and so the glue dot, the, this glue dot does show up. This one would be definitely a lot harder to see through. Like, I think this was the first one that I did. And so you can see my glue dots, but the, the kit glue dots are definitely not going to be as visible. So if that bothers you, then you'll definitely want to stick with the kit glue dots. Hey, here's the first card, our first Slimline card. This kit is called Blossom Wishes, and it really is so beautiful. I'm so glad that I got it. Um, and I love kits, even though I make a lot of cards. Like earlier today, I made, I don't know, two or three different cards. Um, I still like the kits for when I just need a quick and easy card, or just sometimes when I want to make cards and I want to craft, but I'm just not feeling very, not feeling very creative. I'm not feeling the mojo. Um, sometimes the kits are the way I get out a kit and it just kind of warms me up a little bit and helps me um, just kind of get those creative juices flowing, which is kind of what we're going to do today. We're going to use the kits to help us be inspired to create um, using our own supplies. And so um, if you're ever feeling stuck, break out a kit and just get use it to get yourself going. And then, um, and then you can keep going and make cards with your giant collection <laughs> of amazing paper crafting supplies at home. But kits are so great, not only for busy people or just getting your mojo going, but for brand new stampers. Why is this not working? There it is. Um, it's also just so good for, um, for brand new stampers who don't have a collection of things to pull from yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the pairs next. So this kit being on sale for $11.70, I really think you should just add it to your next order. And just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure that you are redeeming your um, bonus day coupons. If you ordered in July $50 or more, then you probably received, hopefully, <laughs> you um, probably received your bonus day coupons over email. The email would have come the day that you placed your order, and the subject line was um, you you've earned a bonus day coupon or something like that. Um, so make sure to look for that email. I don't think there's any way to resend them. So hopefully you've saved that email, which has your special coupon code. The coupon codes are $5 off and you can use more than one at a time. So if you have multiple coupons, you can use them all in one order and, um, and really pick out something extra special, like one of these kits that are on sale. Um, I'm going to add, I feel like we just need a little more support. I'm going to add a dimensional under that leaf. Some of the other ones are touching things that are already on dimensionals, but that one wasn't. Okay, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't like the way those glue dots looked. So for my next vellum flowers, I am going to use the kit glue dots because I just think it looks so much nicer. So I'm going to break those out and there's five of them. So I'm going to do um, two big ones and three little ones. Now, I'd love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what are some of your favorite kits in the kit collection. Um, and especially next, we're going to go through some of them and I'll show you what they look like. So I definitely want to hear from you. If you've got a favorite one that you've been enjoying, um, let everybody know so they can kind of be watching for it or go look for it in the online store. One of my favorite ones, which I, I will start with, is that birthday card organizer. And it is just really nice. Most of the kits, I think, are really great quality. I, I say that most because there is one where I was just really disappointed. 
And I'll tell you which one it is. I almost wasn't going to show you tonight, but then I wanted, I thought, I, I need to kind of <laughs> contrast and compare. Um, and, you know, you might love the style of it. Um, and so just because it's not for me doesn't mean it won't be for you. But I just thought the quality of the materials was a little bit different than some of the other kits. All right. This is the Blossoms Wishes kit. I'm going to put all my other stuff back. Blossom Wishes, and it includes the materials to make eight different cards, not different cards, eight cards for each of the two different designs. Um, and I, I'm so glad that I got this one because I just think it's so beautiful. And even though it's pre-done and I don't have to do like the sponging and the layering and the die cutting, um, I kind of love that. I think it looks really um, well done and some of these extra pieces like the foil and the vellum I think really um, lend to that handmade look and makes it different than just like a store-bought card so I'm loving this blossom wishes kit um, let me give me some quick measurements pretty much this long one is like the length of a letter like a letter envelope specifically it is eight and a half by three and a half finished size. And the smaller one is um, six, oh, I'm worn off there. I would say that's six and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so those are the cards from the Blossom Wishes kit. And I'm gonna show you some more cards, some more projects from other kits. Let's bring out Let's bring out our box. Um, so the first one I'm gonna show you is the newest kit. And um, this one is called the Festive Tags Kit. And it includes materials to make three each of five different tags. And I've put them together here. They're so stinking cute. Now it does not include materials to make a card, but I just wanted to show you how I put the tag on a card. So it's not just for gift giving. You can also use these as um, pieces or focal points in your paper crafting projects in your scrapbook or on your cards. Um, so, so much fun. This is a brand new one. And you know what? Even though it's brand new and it was just released on August 1st, it's still on sale. This kit is $11.70 and it does not include stamps, but it does include all the pieces that you need to create these layered tags. So cute. This one's called Festive Tags Kit. And you know what? We actually have three different um, holiday tag kits right now. Um, one of them I don't have handy. It's the Christmas Gifting Kit. And those tags are really cool. They might even be gift card tags. Um, they're really beautiful. That one was released last year. And the year before that, we have the Love Santa Tag Kit. And so I do have some samples of that. And again, this is just a tag kit. And so I have used the tags and shown you how you can put it on gift packaging. You can use the tags and you can put them on cards or you can just have them ready um, to put on your Christmas gifts. So we've got the, the car with all the presents, the Christmas tree, the Santa Claus. And so this is one that has a stamp set. And then the last one is the foliage and the joy. Aren't those cute? I also think this would be such a fun um, gift to give like a neighbor or a coworker. You could do a little bag or a little box with handmade tags. And then um, you can give that as a gift for them to use on their Christmas packaging. I think that would kind of be a fun little gift. Um, in addition to the holiday tags, there also ha we have some Christmas card kits. Um, the Cozy and Bright is one that is for the holidays, as well as the Christmas Whimsy. And I expect in the next um, month, we'll have another Christmas card kit option. So be watching for that kits collection to see what else is coming. If you are a demonstrator and you already have your mini catalog, I can't show you on camera, but there is a sneak peek. Um, it looks like two different Christmas kits that are coming. And so I would anticipate that those kits will be unveiled in September and October, but we'll have to wait and see. I only know the sneak peek that I'm seeing in the catalog. I have no insider information at all. 
Um, so in addition to tags and cards, we also have some home decor. And so this is the Wreath of Blooms kit. And so it includes all the materials to make this wreath. There is no stamping involved in this one, but you've got all the little um, embellishments and um, flower pieces and leaf pieces and the wreath itself and the twine. So, so much fun. I have this hanging in my stamp room and I think it's just um, kind of a fun little handmade touch to have in your craft room or to use for home decor. This is $11.70 and another great project I think to get together with friends and you can each create a wreath or to make up to give to a new neighbor or someone who is getting ready to move away as a little housewarming gift. Um, all right, so, oh, I promised you, and I totally forgot, we were going to take a look at that birthday card organizer kit. So let me do that next moving those things out of the way. This one's a little bit bigger of a box because the book inside is big. It is like a regular size notebook. You can see we've got pieces in there to make cards, including the tear and tape. And this kit includes materials to make six. I think that's six six each of two different cards. So 12 different cards. We've got one with angles and one with the pretty roses. And then it also has some sequins to use to customize that. This is a non-stamping kit. And so those sentiments are going to be peel and stick. And the best part though, is this card organizer. It is spiral bound with metal, very heavy duty, and it's got pockets and places for you to write the dates of the upcoming events that you want to remember. It could be birthdays or anniversaries, any special day in your life. So this is a um, perpetual calendar, meaning that there is no um, calendar blocks. It's not tied to a year. So this is a great way to organize your cards as you're getting ready to send them. So if you make a head for someone who's got a birthday in September, uh, you can just go ahead and pop it into the pocket and organize all your cards so that they are ready to send. We've got all the months in there from January through December, and then a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. And again, this is really heavy duty. I'm really impressed with the quality of this folder. So beautiful with the front and the back cover. And then these cards inside are just the cutest. They are focused on birthday, although I think It's Your Day really could also be for other occasions as well. So this is the birthday card organizer kit, and it is also on sale. And the normal price is $25 in the US, but it's on sale August for $20. So that's a really awesome, um, a really awesome gift. I think this is a good one to make and give as a gift, um, or just even to give the kit as a gift. So as you're shopping early for Christmas, you might consider giving the birthday card organizer kit to your friends and family. Like I said, either as a completed kit with cards that are ready to go or as a as a kit for them to create and make themselves. And no stamping in this one. I think that's what's really great about it. Um, you use all the pieces that are included in it. Okay, let's go back to some of the other card kits. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out of the box and I'll put them back in the box. All right, so this one is one of the first kits that was released in the kits collection. Some of the older kits you might recognize from Paper Pumpkin. Uh, but this was one of the first kits that was brand new to the kits collection and exclusive. This one's called Notes of Cheer. It's a card kit that has the sentiments pre-done, um, so it's not a stamping kit. It's on sale for $11.70, and it includes materials to make three each of three different card designs. You also get these beautiful rhinestones, and what I love most about this kit is this sort of pastel blended rainbow and the laser cut pieces that are just so beautiful. We've got scallop edge note envelopes, and then, um, all the pieces that you need to make those different cards. This one being a butterfly shape. I just think these cards are just so cute. So this one's called Notes of Cheer and only $11.70. Definitely one um, I'm gonna have fun making up. Here's another one that was really popular and when it first came out, it sold out right away. You guys might remember this one. This is called, I wanna say, yeah, light the candles card kit. Um, so it includes materials to make. I'm trying to 
two, four, four of each, eight cards total. Cute, cute little envelopes. And I don't know how you, how well you can see, but there's glitter. Um, and then these laser cut pieces are so special. I love the little embellishments, the little glitter dots to go on top of the candles too. Obviously a birthday card kit. And I think that's the thing people probably send the cards the most for besides um, Christmas. Um, another really beautiful kit that has been super popular is the Kaleidoscope card. This is called the Color Colorful Kaleidoscope. And um, it's on sale for $20.70. I don't know why I don't have the envelopes, but it does have beautiful coordinating envelopes. Three different envelopes for each card. Three different envelopes, one for each card design. <laughs> um, this also has these laser cut pieces that are so beautiful with gold foil accents. These colors are so fun together. Um, it looks like some Bermuda Bay, Night of Navy, Gray Granite, Petal Pink, and Calypso Coral. The um, tag pieces also have some foil and it includes a stamp set with some different sentiments, including birthday, just because, and thank you. Next up is one I featured just recently. This is the Forever Friends card kit. And there's a video of me during the 12 Days of Christmas video series, 12 Days of Christmas in July, where I made up these cards so you can see how to make that. And then I also made a Christmas card using the stamp set that came in the kit. So one of the things I love about the kids collection is that you get to keep the mini stamp set and the ink spot and the block and use them over and over again in your card making. This one's got terrific foil in it too. And the colors are so beautiful. A light yellow, the olive green, calypso coral and petal pink. This one's called Forever Friends and it is on sale for $18.90. It includes materials to make for each of the two different cards. Another fun kit for masculine cards is for the guys. And this one has got um, some really great patterns and colors that I think are really versatile. This was a paper pumpkin kit that they kind of converted and changed. This one is 30% off and it's on sale for $15.40. I think the cardstock quality on this one is really nice and um, especially these sticky die cuts that you layer together. In contrast, I wanted to show you also another masculine card kit. And this one is the one that I'm just not satisfied with. It's called Timeless Greetings and I don't I don't know what it is about it. I just felt like the pieces maybe or a little more flimsy or um, I, I'm not sure. I, I kind of like the card designs but um, I just felt like the quality of the kit wasn't exactly the same as some of the others. Um, and so, I mean, now that I look at it, maybe it's not as bad as I remembered. <laughs> um, but it's not one of my favorite kits. We actually made these up at, on stage. Um, and so I had those samples from that back in November. Um, but it does have some great foil and some nice stamps, the clock and the world, and then some sentiments. You make the world a better place, happy birthday, and some others. This kit includes um, four each of two different designs, and it's on sale for $18.40. So great um, masculine cards here. These are a little bit plain, um, but they get the job done, and I think that um, most guys would be happy to get, <laughs> to get a handmade card. Um, that egg's actually the end of my little, nope, it's not the end of my little pile. I got two more right here. <sighs> I meant to ask you as we were going along to let me know which of these cards you're inspired by so you can help me choose one to, <laughs> to create um, an, an inspiration card from. So you'll have to let me know um, if there's a card kit that you saw that you thought, oh, that would be really fun to remake that card. But before we get to that, we've got um, our next kit is called You Are My Anchor Card Kit. And this is really fun. It's kind of different because it has little mini cards and it includes four boxes. These are beautiful boxes, really great quality. They have some twine in there as well. The stamp set is so fun. This is such a great kit for summer. In addition to the four boxes, you get materials to make two each of five different card designs. And you also have mini envelopes to go with them. So this is a whole complete set inside the box. 
um, you, you would have two complete sets of cards and four boxes. So you can either split them up or you could use two boxes to hold the cards. And then you could do something else like put a gift inside the other boxes. Um, I know several people who have brought these card kits or finished projects to use on um, on a cruise to give to the stewards and the waiters and you know their staff if you want to leave them you know a little a little money a little tip in there or a little treat um, this is kind of a fun cruise themed um, kit to do that with so there's a lot of great stamps in here congratulations you're a lifesaver. You are my anchor. Such cute little cars. I think this is one where their quality really shines. Um, and it's just such a, such a fun little kit. So this one's called You Are My Anchor. And it is an older kit. I anticipate some of the older kits that have been around for a while are going to probably phase out. Like when they sell out, I would expect that they probably won't be restocked. This one is on sale for $14.70. And so that, that's another one that's 30% off. So this is one, like I said, I imagine once it's sold out that it probably won't be restocked. That's just my speculation and not actual any information <laughs> that I have um, from Stampin' Up. It's such a great kit for the summertime. Um, and so I do highly recommend this. You are my anchor card kit. And if you don't like the mini cards, you can always use those on a bigger project. Um, and they also make little great gift enclosures too. Okay. My last sample to show you, I don't have all 31, <laughs> I don't have all 31 kits to share. Some of them I've made up and I've sent out already. Um, some of them I just never had to begin with. That's what I love about that. There's just something for everybody. But the last one is definitely one of my favorites and it is called Sentimental Rose Card Kit. Um, it's on sale for $19.80, so I think that is 10% off. Um, and it has this beautiful gift box, and it includes all of this to make this project exactly like this. So you've got the wrap, which is corrugated. You have this die-cut flower. This one has a stamp set, and the stamp set... Oh, I should get it out. I don't know where it is. The stamp set has this beautiful rose... Um, and the leaf, and then the great sentiments. Thank you. We've got um, happy birthday. I think there's a happy Mother's Day in there. Thinking of you. And so you get materials to make, I believe, three. Um, three each of three different designs. And these are note card size. Um, this is such a good one to make up and give as a gift because you get the little packaging to give it right there. It's so perfect. So um, here you can see a little bit better that stamp. It's really beautiful. And it's got the twine and the embellishments. Um, I Like I said, it's just one of my favorite ones. And so um, especially if you're making up cards to give. Um, as a set, I think this is a really good one. Some of the pieces are pre-printed and you add stamping and then some of them, well, this is pre-printed with the sort of the background color, the sponging, and then you stamp in the gray granite, which is included in the kit. Well, this is one layout that I was pretty inspired by. And so I wanted to make a project using some new stuff from the new September to December mini catalog. And the thing that I decided to pull out <laughs> is the bag of bones stamp set the glow in the dark embellishments and them bones designer paper oh the name just cracks me up this is some new stuff i previewed in my unboxing video um the designer paper is 12 by 12 and i um just cut it down to six by six when i'm working on projects because it's just easier to have smaller pieces like in a big pile and I just pull from them. Uh, the last pattern I <laughs> used earlier to make a card, wasn't that stinking cute? Oh, I wasn't going to get it and I... I, I got the stamp set and not the dies. I'll probably regret it, but um, the paper is just so fun. So I'm going to make a card inspired by this design from the kit. And so to do that, I need a note card. So this is our white, basic white note cards and envelopes. I also pre-cut some pieces here. I think I'm going to use those. And um, we also have these note cards in white, or sorry, this is white, <laughs> vanilla and, um, and craft too. So if you like this size, three and a half by five, 
um, then you'll, you'll love getting all those colors. Now, three and a half by five in the United States is a machinable size, so it doesn't require any extra postage for being small. Um, just like our inspiration, I have a little piece of designer paper, a little pattern to go on um, the side. So I'm going to add that with some regular adhesive. And I chose the plaid because it incorporated so many different colors. Okay, and then for my image, I'm going to use the awesome skeleton and I am stamping in Cajun Craze. <laughs> this is such an awkward block for this stamp. So fun. I wanted to include some, I should have done a little embossing, but I just chose to use another piece of the designer paper. And then I have a sentiment piece that is um, orange, kind of again, to go with the cardstock. And the sentiment from the set that I'm going to use says, boo to you. So I'm gonna add that to my card. I guess I'll go, if I'm gonna be truly inspired by that one, I'm gonna do a little, little flag tip. And I'll come, oh, I kinda like it. Well, no, I already did that. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna come down here at the bottom and some stamp dimensionals over this, the, um, Sentiment. Where are my dimensionals? I think just one. Boo to you. And then, of course, we've got to finish up with some embellishments. We could do a little twine, but I think just the embellishments are going to be super fun. So these are the glow in the dark. <laughs> oh, they're so fun. Um, you got to charge them up, I guess, first in the light, and then they're going to glow in the dark. And I did take them to the bathroom, and I can vouch they do glow. <laughs> it's so fun. We also have some glow in the dark designer paper. Not designer paper. It's just plain glow in the dark paper, um, which is just super fun. So here is our Halloween version. Um, oh, Kathy says, as soon as the sweet comes back on 821, I think that, um, is it the dyes? that are currently um, not orderable. They maybe were a little more popular than Stampin' Up! was expecting them to be. <laughs> um, I just got this stamp set though, so you can do some fun things with the stamp set alone, but I do think the dies are super fun. Okay, here's our inspiration card from a kit, and here is my take on it with some brand new stuff from the mini catalog. Well, we're gonna make one more project. I actually don't have this one um, I don't have this one designed yet, so um, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll look back at your comments and see if you told me what was something that you were inspired by card layout wise or project wise, uh, maybe that we could make um, into a new card using some new stuff. Let me check out really quick and see your comments. Um, I know, I think the kids are just gonna love these little glow in the dark touches. Um, yes, it's so cute. This stamp set, I forgot to say, is in the September through December mini catalog, and it will be out um, September 6th. If you're not a demonstrator, um, if you are a demonstrator, then you can order it right now. Um, okay, looking, looking, looking. Sentimental Rose is your favorite too. Yes. <laughs> Um, and the rustic dots. I love that. Um, oh, Catherine, I do think it's fun to do some stepping up on the card kit. Some of them that are a little bit more plain. Um, it's fun to kind of add your own touch. I don't like to do that just in general. So that's always, always a good idea and a great way to step up those cards if you're feeling like it's not um, creative enough. You know, it, I say kits are like jiffy, 
um, Jiffy mixes, right? Like, there was a story I read about Jiffy baking mixes, and um, at first, they were really simple, right? They just, it was like, just add water, but all the all the women who were getting them to make at home um, thought that it was a cop out. It was too easy to make these um, to make these baking mixes where you're just adding water, and so they felt like they weren't doing enough to make it. And so they changed the the recipe to include eggs and some other things, butter that you um, that you add to the mixes, so that um, women felt like they were doing more <laughs> to, to make um, to make the cake or to make whatever it was or with Jiffy mixes for lots of things. So I kind of feel. Like like the um the kit collection is the same way the kit collection is like jiffy cake mixes like you're still making cards you're still making a cake um but you're you're not having your it's some shortcuts there's you don't have to do all of the work yourself the measuring and you know all that stuff it's some of the work is done for you um so i kind of love that now thomas when he was a demonstrator for a short while last year he said that kids collection is like paper pumpkin on demand so if you love paper pumpkin um then you definitely should be checking out the kits collection speaking of paper pumpkin today is the last day to order or skip for the august 2023 paper pumpkin kit and it i can't remember the name of it it's something to do with wildflowers but this kit includes a bonus mini stamp set that has flowers and is distinctive so i'm really excited to see what this kit looks like and what this bonus stamp set looks like so definitely make sure to check that out today if you're not already subscribed to paper pumpkin but there's so many kit choices and the thing I love about the kits is that you don't have to be surprised you know exactly what the kit's going to look like you know exactly what's going to come in it um, and so I think that's fantastic if you love kits then um, check out all the kits that are on sale if you love paper pumpkin check out all the kits that are on sale okay I am thinking let's bring out some of these cards I'm kind of thinking about like this layout here from the colorful kaleidoscope collection and our kit rather kit well kit collection still still the same thing okay um let's do this one and i have kind of a fun a fun idea i'm sorry i'm reaching down using the new modern garden this is a really fun one which I've heard mixed reactions about. Um, <laughs> I this is the actually the stamp set and the suite that we are going to feature in our 18th annual vacation stamping school. This is a demonstrator training event that's virtual. We've done it mostly in person for those first 15 years, <laughs> and this year is the third year that we're doing it virtually. Thank you, COVID. Uh, but there are so many wonderful things about doing it virtually because we can include our team members all across the country and one of the things I love about having the virtual event not only connecting with so many people but also I can re-watch the presentations over and over again we're going to have five different sweet spotlights demonstrations from demonstrators who are going to highlight five different suites from the new mini catalog and share project ideas with them. In addition, we're going to have a mix and match class with seven different projects and tutorials that you can either make for yourself or you can use to plan an event in your business. And that mix and match class is going to feature the modern garden, um, no, what is it called? Garden Walk Suite. <laughs> this is the Garden Walk Designer Paper. Um, and so if you're a demonstrator, then you can register now to attend Vacation Stamping School. It's going to happen on Saturday, September 23rd, but everything will be recorded. So if you can't attend the live stream event, you can watch the replay afterwards. The cost is $75 and it includes a big box of swag stuff. That stuff that you get from the mini catalog. It's going to be awesome. Um, if you are a team member, if you're a demonstrator, on my team you get $20 off the registration fee um, and so check your email I sent an email on Tuesday I think it was with the um, code to get a discount on your registration um, so that's going to be so much fun but this is open to all demonstrators so if you are not a demonstrator yet I think it might be a fun time for you to join because when you join in August you can choose new mini catalog stuff in your starter kit check out the video description description for links on more information about joining as a demonstrator.
I think it's always a fun option and we have so much fun as a team. So I'm going to use the Modern Garden designer paper and stamp set. My favorite part of it is the new Modern Oval Punch. This punch is such a fun shape, a great alternative to a circle. And so I want to make a project featuring some designer paper um, and I'm, I don't have the laser die cut. So we're just going to kind of do uh, the, the sort of general layout here. And we almost could do the same colors too, right? This paper is so beautiful. It has, um, what I love about it is it's got like designer paper. Uh, both sides are kind of the same color base. So we've got like the light pink on this one. We've got the blue. Oh, so pretty. Um, and so sometimes these designer paper patterns, you're getting opposite colors on the other side, but these all are coordinating um, really well patterns on the other side, which makes it really great when you have a card that does feature both sides because you can see um, you can see the patterns and they match and, and it makes sense. Sometimes we get these double-sided patterns and the pattern on the back doesn't make sense. And then I'm always like, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> um, let's use, I'm really digging like this color combination. And I think that, um, I feel like this one is really close to that. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this pattern and I'm gonna cut a piece that is two inches because I'm gonna eyeball it, but I, uh, let's measure it. I bet you I'm right. <laughs> um, yep, <laughs> two inches, just a little bit less. Um, I cut cardstock all day long, I feel like, and so um, I feel like I have a pretty good handle on on measurements, especially when it comes to one or two inches. Okay, so um, loving these colors. Let's see. I think some Calypso Coral maybe um, and, and Petal Pink. I'm trying to think what colors to pull out for the card base. Um, Oh, maybe a garden green for the card base? I have a whole box. Speaking of organization, I have a whole box of card fronts. Um, not card fronts, card bases that are pre-cut. This is usually like I cut one and then I put the other one away and save it for later. So this is handy though when I just want to grab a card base. It's already done and I can just reach down. I have this right underneath my desk. So it's super easy to just reach down and grab one. Ooh, the one color I want though I don't have. Let me pull out a couple colors and we can see. The one I'm thinking about is Calypso Coral. Let me do a quick score. I always score my card bases, four and a quarter, and then I cut it at five and a half. Okay, so we have three different colors to choose from. Tell me which one you think we should use for our card base. Meanwhile, I am going to choose a sentiment and some stamps. Oh yeah, this one right here. I'm choosing a flower and sentiment and a leaf. So the colors I'm going to get out are petal pink, calypso coral, and garden green. Um, okay, let's take a look at your votes and see one for Garden Green. Janice says Garden Green, Calypso Coral, and um, has three votes. Sharon, Heather, Terry, Phyllis, Julie, Michelle, Ka okay, everybody likes Calypso Coral. <laughs> um, Garden Green, Terry says, yeah, um, so, so many great options. I think Calypso Coral won on that. 
Um, I don't know which one I would go with. I kind of like the green. Yeah, Calypso Coral. <laughs> That's a good choice. For some reason, did I cut? Oh, I cut my, um, I think I was thinking that it would be, well, I cut my designer paper because this one has a card front. But you know what? I'm just going to cut a new piece that will go all the way down. Um, you know what? I already cut it. We're just going to leave it. It's, it's not going to go all the way top to bottom, and that's okay. Okay. So, our simple card. We're going to get some white card stock, which I have a piece out right here. And we're going to do some stamping. I have got the petal pink flower. And... It's your birthday, kind of crooked, but I can fix that when I do my punching. So I want to try to punch that straight. I'm worried that the sentiment is too crowded. No, I think it's okay. Okay. We are going to do a little bit of green cardstock, just like this one has a little dark blue cardstock for our accent strip. I'm loving that shape. And for that, I reach down to my scrap box, which is on the other side of my desk. I know it doesn't seem like it's organized, <laughs> but there is a method to my madness. I'm gonna do three quarters of an inch because this oval is so big. Three quarters of an inch by three, and maybe I should have made it a little longer. No, that's actually perfect. Oh, we just need a little gem inside of our flower. I should use something new, shouldn't I? What are the gems that come in this kit? I mean, this sweet. Oh, it's these. Ooh. <laughs> Those are beautiful. I was kind of thinking of using an iridescent rhinestone, but I am digging these gorgeous blooming pearls. And so I'm going to use a pink one right in the center. Oh, perfection. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could add some additional pearls, but I'm gonna kind of keep this one a little bit simple. Um, oh, I do wanna just add something, I don't know what. I don't know what I feel like I need to add because this is such a simple sentiment and I really love the way that looks. So why do I feel the need to add more? Hmm, I don't know, let's leave it. Okay, <laughs> let's go on the side here. I'm going to be inspired. You know what I feel like I would add if I did? Mm. Like some embossed cardstock or something. You know? Mm. I'm gonna keep it. I'm just, we're gonna be simple. <laughs> oh, but there's a new embossing folder. Hmm. <laughs> Always second guessing myself. Once it's on dimensionals and we close our card, I feel like that feels finished. Don't you think? I like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. You could add embossed cardstock around this. This one has solid cardstock here, but since there's so much detail here, I think you could get away with adding some detail on the side. Oh, this is fun. 
There's our finished card inspired by a kit collection. Tonight we were showcasing the kit collections and we were um, showing you all the different kinds of kits that we have and we made some cards inspired by kit collection cards like these two <laughs> and these two. And we also made up the new Blossom Wishes kit. These are so beautiful. I am just loving those. I hope that you enjoyed tonight's video and that I've inspired you. Before I let you go, I do have a little mail call to share with you. And so I'm gonna bring in those cards. Most of them are duplicate cards from the, um, from the Great Big Card Swap, but I, I did have a few extras. This one from Brenda Porath one of my team members. I love this with the Countryside Inn. Such a beautiful card. This one is from Teresa Strickland for my birthday using the terrific tulips. So beautiful. I love the die cuts and the stamped image that went so beautifully with the designer paper. A little space on the back to write your message. That's where she said happy birthday. These are all duplicates from the great big card swap. This one from Roz Munsey. A little pop-up diorama card. So beautiful. Diamond fold card from Joe Williams and a diamond fold card <laughs> from Sharon Rowland. And uh, this is one that I did with the Dainty Delight um, in a Sunday stamping video. So I'll try to remember to add the link to the video description if you haven't seen it before. Here's one from Terry Biggs. I love that extended extra Z fold card. So fun. Another one, this is called... Um, the center of attention, I think, is what Rachel Tessman called it. Um, but, yeah, I think that's what I've seen it called. Push-pull, as somebody else said. This one is from Tina Lynch. So beautiful with the Petal Park imagery and the um, delightfully eclectic designer paper. This is one I created with the seaside. Um, friends are like she seashells, I think. So I've got, I've got a video for this one, too, if you want to know how to make it. It's really fun. I'll add that to the video description. Thank you, Tina, for that. Oh, I was going to do this one. Um, next video. Next video, I'll show you how to make this double flap card. It's so much fun. I did one with the one horse open sleigh designer paper, and I was trying to decide what paper to use on another version of it. So you'll have to, you'll have to let me know what you think. We'll do that another time. And this last one's from Debbie Lindauer um, using the He's the Man designer paper. I love that with all the embossing as well. Thank you to everyone who sent double cards for me. The theme this month is Fun Fold. So make sure you send in your great big card swaps. If you missed part one, you can watch the replay on my YouTube channel at juliedavison.com, uh, which is where you're watching this video right now. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all my paper crafting videos, card swaps, Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie, and Thursday night stamp therapy. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you next time. My next video will be on Sunday at noon central time. Uh, Mom and I are doing a fun Sunday stamping video. I think this week we are featuring the Take Your Pick tool, the new accessories. Whoa, <laughs> I'm feeling a little nervous. I haven't opened my package yet, so I've got to work on that um, tomorrow and figure out what I'm going to create to share with you. I look forward to doing that. Thank you again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.